On to boxing now, Tabi Somkunu is set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yamil Arberto Peralta for the vacant WBC Cruiserweight Silver title at the Olive Convention Center on the 22nd of March this year. Peralta comes into the fight with a record of 16-1, and 9 by way of knockout. 15 of his fights were at his home in Argentina. His only loss was in Canada. Nkunu's record stands at 23-6. and six. He joins us now via Zoom. Tabiso, a very good evening to you and thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good evening to you too and thanks for having me. And, um, let, I mean, it, it's been, uh, how long has it been uh, uh, since you were in action? Has it, been, has it been over a year or two? I would say it's over just two years now. Sure. How's the ring rustiness? Yeah. Uh, I don't feel it that much since I'm uh, I'm always at the gym. I'm a healthy guy. I live a healthy lifestyle, so for me, it's not a a major problem. Mm. And this will be the first time yeah, since 2019 that you are fighting at home. How big is this fight for you, and the fact that you'll be fighting in South Africa for that matter? Uh, it's very big for me, and. Uh, it's been a long time since I fought at home, and I'm fighting for a big title, a WBC World title, which is going to put me right there on top. So it's very big, and it means a lot, and people must come in numbers. Mm. You, you last fought in KwaZulu Natal, if memory serves well, in 2010 against uh, Daniel Bruver. You're coming back home against uh, uh, Peralta. What does this mean for you, again, fighting not only back in South Africa, but in KwaZulu Natal? Yes, it means a lot because I've got a lot of people who support me back at home in case it's end. So I'm sure they're really happy, and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a great fight, and uh, they're gonna be happy afterwards. Mm. I mean, talk to me about the opponent. How much do you know about uh, Peralta as he comes into this fight? Uh, I don't know much about him, but I know he's a good boxer. I just watched some of his uh, videos on YouTube. He's a former Olympian, so and I rate everyone who's been into Olympics. So he's a very good boxer. And, uh, yeah, he has only one loss away, and, yeah, I'm expecting a tough fight. Mm. Let's talk about the preparations, and especially, as you say, uh, been away for about uh, two years from active boxing, albeit you uh, stay in shape and you stay in the gym, but uh, I, I think you and I would agree that uh, in the ring it's a different and a completely different story. What have you been doing to prepare for this particular game, for, uh, for this match? Yeah, actually, this fight was meant to happen last year because of some... Uh, of some, of some the negotiations and stuff, uh, so it couldn't happen last year. So I've been training for this fight from last year. So we're going to be very ready uh, come uh, the 22nd of March. Mm. You, you have fought some of the best um, in the world, um, well-traveled. Uh, how, how, how much does that add in terms of experience that you've been with some of the best heavyweights and cruiserweights uh, in the world? Yeah, it adds a lot and it's going to help me a lot because I've been with the best in the world, the likes of Usak, who's currently now uh, the heavyweight champion. And yeah, I fought Dennis Libadev, a very good boxer, back in his home yard at home and I got a victory, which that's when I won my, the first the, the, the WBC Silver World title, which I'm going to be fighting for again. So yeah, I've been around. For me, I just have to train hard and make sure I'm in a good shape and I'll give a good performance. Mm. You know, as you talk about the inactivity and talk about the fact that this is a vacant title that you have held before, um, I mean, what, what's the big plan for you? To go back again and, and, and challenge for bigger world titles? Yeah, actually, yes, because uh, I was meant to fight for be before Badu Jack vacated the title. I was meant to fight him for the WBC, but then things didn't go accordingly then uh, we ended up here now so after this fight definitely we're gonna go for a WPC world title mm. and, and if you look back at uh, your career and uh, some of the fights that you've had I mean uh, wh where would you say this fight and the importance thereof stands for you in terms of uh, just capturing that uh, silver title once again yeah it's a very very big title and uh, important world title for me and uh, I would say you hardly get uh, boxers who, got op who get opportunities like this to fight for a what, WPC world title twice and after this one it's going to put me right on top to fight for a big world title again so it's very, this means a lot to me and 
yeah, we're gonna have to 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 do our our very best to make sure we come out victorious. Mm. Are you um, staying at Cruiser? Are you comfortable at Cruiser, or are we likely going to see that you moving up uh, to the heavyweights? Uh, I'm staying at, two, at Cruiser. I'm not that tall, so <laughs> there's no way from that to go to heavyweight. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at that, uh, if, if looking at the uh, Cruiserweight division. Uh, what other fights are you looking at? I mean, I know that uh, immediately will be this uh, uh, Peralta fight uh, in your sides, but uh, uh, looking ahead, do you have any targets that you're looking at that you want to achieve going forward? Uh, after this fight, definitely the guy who has the WPC world title now uh, is going to be one of the guys that I'm looking forward to fight, and yeah, hopefully it will come true. Mm. Just uh, then, finally, if you look at uh, just how the state of boxing is. We are starting to see a lot of uh, South African boxers going overseas, capturing world titles. I mean, does this encourage you and inspire you as a boxer uh, to do the same? Yes, definitely. And uh, I think South African boxing deserves more world titles. So definitely this inspires me and uh, to, to, to add one of the world titles at home. And yeah, I'm going to make sure. Well, Tammy, so thank you so much uh, for joining us, and uh, uh, best of luck uh, in your fight on the 22nd. The Rock, Tammy, so talking to us there about uh, his fight against Alberto Peralta.